and he's on. So, uh, what makes the uh, SpaceX Starship development program different from other development programs? Well, it's very different. First of all, it's being almost entirely privately funded. Um, second of all, um, the ambition behind it is tremendous, uh, which is to create a fully reusable heavy lift launch vehicle. Uh, moreover, that runs on a, a propellant that can be made on Mars, so it can fly to Mars, and it can be fueled there and fly back. Um, and the third thing is the uh, remarkable speed with which this development is occurring. And the fourth is the methodology, which is uh, build, fly, crash, build, fly, crash, uh, you know, fix what went wrong, do it again. They, they've already set up a production line for these things so that um, they're prepared to take losses and just push on through. Uh, this program is more reminiscent of the early days of aviation than the space program, uh, at least since the dawn of the space program. And uh, what's your thoughts on the uh, program right now, what they're doing with Booster 3? Well, uh, I, I'm not exactly sure what they're doing with Booster 3, uh, but clearly if the thing's going to make orbit, they have to uh, uh, get the Super Heavy to work, not just the upper stage, the uh, Starship uh, problem. Uh, and um, um, so who knows, uh, but it, it certainly looks like they're preparing to be able to fly the two of them together this fall. And uh, what's your thoughts on the idea of, provide, of uh, applying air breathing propulsion to the Starship Super Heavy system? Oh, I, I don't think applying air, air breathing propulsion to the Super Heavy uh, makes a lot of sense. Uh, the, um, you know, the, I mean, if you're talking jet engines, they have a much lower thrust to weight than uh, rocket engines do. And the Super Heavy needs thrust and thrust we trust and uh you know an air breathing system would be a different kind of system actually uh air breathing system might be interesting um for uh an upper stage system like a starship or the upper stage of the falcons uh to enable them to do long distance hypersonic flight um because the first stages of the falcons or the super heavy take you right up into that regime and then if you wanted to uh, uh, do long distance surface to surface you might consider such a thing um or else just do ballistic flight as 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 they're doing or i mean it could be an alternate type of system uh i, I don't think the starship needs it but uh, someone else might go for it Thank <laughs> you.